Welcome to a very special Dakar. No, not only Dakar inside, classic inside. We have a look on 70 years of history of the Unimog, the Universal Motorgerät in German. And we do that in the Unimog Museum. Now we're getting into the museum, but the museum by the back entrance. My name is Ellen Lohr and I lead you not only through the history of the Unimog, but also we are going to have a nice drive together later on. So stay with me. In the museum, of course, you have very different uh, exhibits. It's just a small exhibition, but it's a lot to do for everybody, for children having some fun outside, inside, and for all the adults and interested and fans of the Unimog. They have very different exhibitions here, changing every year, and also there is a lot to do yourself. You can drive nearly all the models from the past and from now, from the present, and also you can co-drive them, of course, if you don't want to drive yourself. But let's start our 70 years inside Unimog story with the number one model. This is it. Well, actually, it's the number six, which was ever built in 1946. 1946, right after the war, there were some engineers thinking of what can we do to earn something for a living and what can we do to help everybody? What does everybody need in those tough times? And uh, then they constructed the Unimog. This tractor here, the little grey Ferguson, that was the state-of-the-art tractor model at that time. But the Unimog, already the model number one, was so much better. If you just have a little look at it, you can see that you have two people driving it instead of one. You don't have only the two wheels you have, uh, which go forward. You have the four-wheel drive on this truck already on this little working machine. And that's the point. It's not only off-road terrain. Uh, uh, what the car is able to do or the truck is able to do, it's a working machine, meaning you had four fixing attachment points in the front, in the rear, between the axles and on the platform where you could put many devices. That's the original name, Universal Motor Gerät. Gerät means devices, implements on in English. And nowadays, you have over 3,500 of these devices from 250 different manufacturers, which you can put on your Unimog. This is, of course, one of the first ones used in agriculture. That was one of the first yeah, areas where the Unimog was used. Later on, it was very much used in the military, pur military purpose as well, of course. If you follow me a little bit through the exhibition, you will also see not only different models, different special models, but also this one. This is also a special model because it's a future study. Study. It was made in 2011, and if you have an ask, uh, if you ask me, I, I don't think we will see that really on the road. But nevertheless, it does have some nice features. First of all, it's huge. It's big, big tires, and well, very futuristic. Futuristic is. A key word, because if you have a look here, this is the cabin of the model from 2000. So a little bit in the past, but still used very much. And the cabin already has a carbon composite uh, structure to put the weight down. And that was very, very futuristic in 2000 to use it on a truck. And of course, it's still used in the future as well and at the present models. Like I said in the beginning, I want to take you on a ride. And that's possible in the Mercedes Unimog Museum as well. So you not only have the exhibition, like I said, you also have the chance to drive yourself. I have the pleasure and honor to be driven by Mr. Heinz Thiermeier. Thiermeier. And that's a big pleasure because he knows everything about Unimog. Because on the outside of the museum, you have this fantastic test track. And Mr. Thiemeyer is really the number one in his business. He's the number one instructor for all Unimog events on all terrain. So let's join him and go for a ride, a wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> 